be making basics. What's good YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely helps out the channel. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Now today we're going to be continuing our 10 minute trap beat challenge, all right? First video, we made the beat or made the A bar loop. This video, we're actually gonna be arranging it into song format. Now, before we actually jump right in, I do wanna wish you all a Merry Merry Christmas. I really thank y'all for being subscribed to my channel, being a subscriber, a viewer, every little thing counts and um, y'all are so much uh, of a great blessing to me and I appreciate y'all. So, um, just wanted to this tell y'all Merry Christmas and everything like that before we get going. Um, if you go to my site, I actually got a little something that I'm doing for Christmas Day, all right? So check this out. Please make sure you go to my site. I'm going to leave it up for Christmas Day and the day after, all right? It's a special, special, special discount on all of my, uh, all everything that's on the site, okay? Um, it's day only, all right? But anyway, um, let's jump right into the video. We're going to arrange this beat. What we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to go ahead and play you all the beat first. And then we're going to go over like the whole aspect of how to do everything. And I'm going to do this in 10 minutes or less. All right. So let's get the timer up and I'm we'll listen to the beat and go from there. All right. So that's that's pretty much the vibe of the beat. Um, we have different sections that um, I'm going to have to create, okay? Obviously, like an intro, a hook, and then a verse. Those are going to be the main sections that we're going to be creating. And so what we need to do is identify which part's going to be the hook, which part's going to be the verse, uh, intro, diff different things like that. Um, for me, what I like to do, generally speaking, is go ahead and start off with like a um, melody for the intro. So I'm actually going to start off with this melody right here. And so we'll probably just start it off like that, just getting then just jump right into the beat. OK, so um, from there, I feel like this melody right here is going to work well for the hook. Basically, it's the same thing uh, that I did here. I just, you know, if you watch the first video, you'll see what I did. Um, and then for the verses, pretty much, I'm just going to be doing this one. And then I might also bring this one back in like right before the hook goes back in. OK, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, how I'm going to be the process of actually laying these down and tracking things out. What I do is I mute things here and then I also mute things in the workspace window. So when I'm muting things in the workspace window, I just hold down control and then push the letter M and it mutes it right there. All right. And um, pretty much all I'm going to do is take everything and just drag it over and just start creating the different sections. Um, and so what don't, let me just, let me go ahead and just do this as well. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and everything that you see here that's MIDI, at least on the melody, I'm gonna actually bounce that in place and create audio files with it. So with like this glow worms, I'm just gonna go ahead and create an, a, um, an audio file and it's gonna help out when it comes to laying things down and laying things out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this one and then we'll name it. And the process is gonna go pretty quick after this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a save as, and I'm gonna go ahead and do like a second version of this. And then I'm gonna delete this one and this one. And Bounce this one in place as well. I right, bet. So 
get rid of that. All right, cool. So now we're just going to just name everything. Um, this is going to be, I'll just say, man, just to keep it simple, just do glowworms one, glowworms two, glowworms three. You know what I mean? Just do it, keep things simple sometimes, man. Like, anyway, there we go. Um, and then from here, we can just let start laying things down. So, um, I actually can go ahead and do a bounce in place. Really, I can do a bounce in place with all of this stuff, man. It's, it's a little bit extra work, but it's just going to save time in the long run, to be honest with y'all. So I'm just going to go ahead and bounce everything in place. I could have exported it and saved some time, um, exported the files, but we're already here at this point. It's all good. I'm going to get rid of all of the MIDI. Oops. Yeah. Bounce that one in place as well. Yeah. So we do clap. Can get rid of that one. All right, boom. No, this is actually taking a little bit of time, but trust me, y'all, when it actually comes to the arrangement aspect of things, once you actually know what the different parts are of your song, um, it's going to be pretty easy laying it out. You know what I mean? Because at the beginning of the video, I already told y'all kind of how I was going to do it. So let's just go from here. Um, I'm just going to take this. And copy and paste it so command C command V this is gonna be um, for the hook and then we're gonna do two of these for the verse so that's all I need to copy and paste is right now um, and then what I need to do is I'm actually going to cut this in half and we're gonna start off with just a four bar intro and if actually you um, highlight everything and then push the uh, semicolon it brings everything to wherever this um, playhead is and so since I have it to the beginning it moved everything there um, if y'all remember at the very beginning I said I was gonna leave this one on and then it was gonna bring in the hook so what I would do here now is I'm gonna mute everything except for this guy so did that and then I'm just gonna push control M to mute that so now I have my intro then I told y'all I wanted this one this guy worms one to be for the hook and then for the verse, I wanted Worms 3. And I was actually going to alternate it a little bit with this second Worms right here, right? So I'm just gonna do a Command T to cut this. And you notice I already kind of mapped it out in my head of what I wanted it to do. So that's kind of what we got going. So boom, the, it's already pretty much ready to go. Now, I know that like when it comes to um, and we're going to organize this a little bit when it comes to actually the verses, I like to keep the kick out for the first half of the verse and it's going to come in in the, uh, the second half of the verse. You can you can keep the, the hi-hat in or not on the uh, throughout the verse and just chop it up however you want to. But I usually like one measure before the actual next part of the song comes in, which would be the hook. I like to cut out certain things. So. Um, like I'll cut out the hi-hat and I might even cut out like the kick and then we're just gonna mute these out control M so pretty much right now that's pretty much like the whole vibe of the of the of the track for the most part man um, so all I had to do is just take this and then copy and paste it at this point or yeah copy and paste command C and then command V boom so we got uh, intro, hook, verse, hook, verse, hook, verse, and then we can have a hook, and then we can do an outro, which could be an eight bar. And then I always like to come over here and check the time, and we're right where we need to be, especially for like a trap song, you know what I mean? Trap music is a lot faster now. It's not as, you know, it's not as, like the tracks are not as long. So I'm just going to mute this out and I'll probably go ahead and turn both of these on and I'm just going to alternate this. So I have this guy going like that for the outro and it will fade out here. So let's just kind of listen to some of this and then you're going to see what I did.
that's pretty much the vibe, man. I mean, and we did this in less than 10 minutes, about 10, around 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Um, there's obviously certain other things we can do here, like um, that measure, like one measure before each uh, new section. We can come in and add like a um, a transitional effect, sound effect or whatever. You can put your beat tag right there, different things like that. The other things you can do is you can come up here to the top left, knock that down right there grab colors and you can color code the different parts of the song so like if i wanted to all, all of my hooks could be orange and it would just pretty much keep me where i can easily see it and like if you were recording an artist and they're actually able to see the screen you can tell them hey you know the orange part is where the hook's gonna be different things depending on how y'all do your recording if you do that and you can change the the verses to different other colors too, like that could be a blue, and the intro and the outro could be green. You know what I'm saying? Pick something like that, and now it's easy to see what's going on. You know, you know, and you could do this process at any point in time when you're doing your track outs. Again, y'all, Merry Christmas! I appreciate y'all um, a lot. And um, basically, like I said, you can go to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Uh, links in the description. Right now, I'm gonna be doing a crazy holiday Christmas sale. We're gonna do do two days only today, which is Christmas, and um, we're gonna be doing it another day. So I'll have it going for a whole 48 hours. Um, you can get the drum kits. You can get you know choruses, any of the services. I'm gonna be doing a crazy deal. So make sure you go ahead and grab that. Excuse me. It's um, only for a limited time. Uh, but anyway, y'all, appreciate y'all. Next video you're going to see is actually what I'm going to do to mix this. And uh, you don't want to miss that as well. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.